Hi, it's Darnell with Whale Oven Recipes, and today I'm going to be making some homemade French fries in the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Fry Oven. So let's get cooking right now. Alright, so what I have for this cook are some simple ingredients. I've got about four kind of medium sized potatoes, got some canola oil, you can use the oil of your choice, and I'm going to be using Obey seasoning because Obey is great on everything nothing in this video is sponsored and so to start out what I'm going to do I'm going to just put a little of this canola oil over into the bowl so that I have it as my kind of area where I'm going to kind of oil the fries up a little bit and put Obey seasoning on the fries before putting them over into this crisper tray so just basically exhausting the last of my oil here and going to go ahead and start cutting the fries into like kind of a fry shape uh, you know kind of like home fry shape or little french fry shape basically you know you can cut them to the size of your personal preference but probably should have cut it probably should have cut it like the other way I can cut it the other way and usually you can kind of get your fries a little a little more uniform so let me just show you if I cut like the ends off of a potato and then I can kind of cut down like this and just cut uh, after I cut them like this then cut them this way and you can kind of get you know more of a kind of smaller fry shape when you cut them the longer way you kind of have bigger fries for french fries and for french fries you probably want something a little smaller so I'm going to go ahead for these these will be kind of no, I'll just kind of cut these in half and cut them smaller but you want something that's more like a smaller fry shape you don't want a potato wedge size for when you're doing like home fries or french fries you just want to kind of cut them like this to kind of be a smaller french fry shape so I'm just going to basically continue this throughout the rest you can if you want you can peel your potatoes so that you don't have any skin on them it's up to you either way you're going to be okay and so I'm just going to continue cutting up these french fries and I guess since I didn't take the skin off we can just call them home fries <laughs> instead of french fries but uh, whatever you prefer and as I continue to cut these potatoes I do want to mention that uh, the skin, you know, is a healthful part of the potato. It's got fiber and good nutrients in it. So, you know, if you leave the skin on, that's, I don't consider that a bad thing. But, uh, I'm going to just continue cutting them here. I'm thinking I might have more than enough to fill into this one crisper basket. So I might have to use, you know, one of the pans to do it as like a two-layer cook. I already have a pan in the cooker on the lowest level that was just going to be used to catch any drippings from oil as I basically you know cook the fries but it may have to also hold some fries but we'll see alright so I've got my fries all cut up and I'm going to just start basically putting them into my oil and shaking some uh, Obey on them to get them season and then put them onto the crisper tray or air fry basket and uh, after this air fry basket's full I'll just go ahead and use the bake pan but I think this air fry basket isn't going to be able to hold all of this so some will go into the air fry basket some will go into the bake pan that's in there and I think in the end it'll all just work itself out I'm thinking it's going to be easier to just oil these and after I oil them then sprinkle the Obey on then to try and do it while I'm running them through the oil so I'm just going to finish oiling these up so I've got this crisper tray here pretty much filled up and I'm just going to put the Obey on these fries and then stick them on in there just like this and so I've moved the bake pan up to level three I think that's where you're supposed to be when air frying two levels 
since I'm going to be air frying two levels now of food and just putting some Old Bay on these so basically if you use four potatoes you're gonna to have to do a two layer cook if you use two you probably can fit them all in one crisper tray or air fry basket and so just going to you know just finish doing a little Obey seasoning of these here like so there and close those on up in there and then take this top rack of them and put those well it's not top rack but it's supposed to be third rack but I'm going to put it up top I think it needs to be up top when you're doing a two layer now with that all done I'm going to close up turn the Ninja Foodi XL Pro air fry oven on and going to switch it over to air fry and with it on air fry I'm going to make it a two level cook and it does say you should use levels two and four for a two level cook which is where I have things placed and so with that I've got 400 degrees Fahrenheit 20 minutes of cooking time and I think I'm going to go ahead and see how that turns out and so I'm going to hit start and I'll bring you on back So we're finishing up the 20 minutes at 400 Fahrenheit and so I'm going to go on in here and see what we've got. Everything's in there sizzling away and you can see on the bottom of course it caught the dripping so there's some oil and such down there but I'm just going to get a couple from the bottom here. It looks like the even though they were covered in oil I mean there was no shortage of oil it seems like these fries still kind of stuck to the bottom. I probably should have used my Copper Chef bacon grill mat to prevent that sticking. Or, you know, you could use some aluminum foil or what have you. But these up top, they look good and done. They're coming off the air fry basket with no problem. So I think those are good to go. And so getting some from the top. And so just remember if you have to use the bake pan underneath, use a liner of some type to prevent this you know sticking that I'm experiencing I I felt that you know since the fries were literally covered in oil that I wouldn't have so much of that problem but I guess I do anyway but I'm going to go ahead and do a taste test so here are our finished fries so this is one that was up top so I'm gonna go ahead and taste that hmm. and get one of these smaller ones Alright, let's get one from the bottom. Well, I guess kind of fuse together two from the bottom. Okay, so basically they're done. They're moist inside. They're done moist. They're not a crisp, like crisp French fry. I guess you could cook them longer if you want to have them real crisp. But if you have them real crisp, they're probably going to, you know, get some char on them you know, probably some sear on them, you know, so I didn't really want to really overcook them and so they turned out decent, you know, for home fries, they're decent and that's how you can do some home fries, I like them myself you know, if you want something that's like, you know, McDonald's or whatever, you know I mean, you'd have to cut them real thin and, you know, get them to a size so that they would get more crisp if that's what you want, but for like some home fries, these are good to go and so I like them and I hope that you try it too, you know, because you can do them yourself and you can have a whole lot of, you know, one bag of fries, making your own fries at home. You can make tons more than you can get at McDonald's for the price of, uh, you know, the same price, you know, the same amount of money. You won't get as many fries there as you will getting a bag of uh, potatoes from the store and just making your own fries the easy way, in my opinion. But with all of that said, in the video description, Lots of ways to help this channel, including my book. You can find a link to that for my Amazon shop. It's in my Amazon shop. And the uh, also the cooker, if you want to get the cooker, refer a link for that. And other ways to help. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can find on my blog, SuperWaveOvenRecipes.com, the full recipe. I'll have a link to a printable version of the recipe as well. And also, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave your comments. Hit that notification icon and good eating.